bring in Terry Stotts. He's the Blazers head coach, and I don't know how much national media they're getting, but they're one of the better stories of the year considering last year and then the change to this year. But, Terry, let me go back to London when I'm there for the Olympics and I see you. <laughs> Do you remember you're in the hotel lobby running out the door? I only saw you for about nine seconds. You have a good memory. I was, uh, I was on my way to interview with Mr. Allen on his, uh, on his ship. Okay. First of all, how big is the – it's not a ship, I think. Is it called a yacht or is it so big that it's it is? It's called a yacht, but yeah, – it's called a yacht, but if you Google it, it's a ship. <laughs> okay. I see you in the, in the lobby of the hotel, and you said, I got to go. I'm going for a job interview. And I'm thinking, is there a, an NBA team in, in London here? Like, wh- who are you interviewing with? And then I realized that you, you were interviewing for the Blazers job. So Paul Allen has his yacht there. What's it like when you walk on the yacht? Well, it's um, to be honest, it's beyond words. I mean, the, it is a ship. It's uh, I've never been on a, a private vessel as as big as that, obviously. But um, you know, it's uh, it, it was impressive. You know, it's got eight or eight or nine uh, floors, or I don't know if they call them floors. <laughs> I don't think they call them floors on a ship uh, decks. But um, you know, it's. I got a tour of it afterwards. I was, uh, but I was much more concerned about the interview than the than the yacht at the time. But did you get the job that day? No, I didn't. Uh, you know, we. I flew back after the after that interview, and uh, shortly thereafter, a decision was made. I'm looking at the yacht now. It's got two helicopters on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got two. It's big enough to have two helicopters land. <laughs> well, Mr. Allen's a private person, so I don't want to go into too much detail. But <laughs> the fact that the fact that you're able to look at it, that's good enough. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. Uh, congrats on the start so far. What's the difference between this year and last year, in your opinion? Well, we have a. We filled the needs that we uh, that we need that we had going into the season. You know, last year the, our core group of four players, uh, Damian, Wesley, Nick, and Lamarcus, all played very well. But uh, you know, as Ben noted, we didn't have a lot of scoring off the bench. Uh, we didn't have a defensive center, and we didn't have a, a true backup point guard. And we filled all those all those needs, and uh, that along, <clears throat> excuse me, with the the chemistry that developed very quickly. Um, I think put us in a position that we are that we're in today. I got to, I got to watch most of the second half against Cleveland. I, I like there's a lot of things to like. There are a couple of things that make me nervous come playoff time for you guys. Uh, you, you guys can shoot. You guys make free throws. Uh, defensively, I'd be a little concerned. Um, Lillard, I'd like to have him shoot a little better from the floor, but he's he's spectacular. He's fun. Lamarcus Aldridge. Uh, it you know is I think the national media now maybe getting a chance to see him and putting up numbers, rebounding a little bit more. It's just hard to be a great jump shooting team. I think it, once once you get to the postseason, it just feels like can you live and die by that jump shot? Your thoughts on this? Build for the long haul, and maybe once you get into the postseason. Well, I, I think those are all legitimate uh, observations. Uh, our defense uh, is is not where it needs to be to be a. Uh, uh, a contending playoff team. Uh, it's going in the right direction, uh, but we've had some slippage lately, and I think uh, the loss to Minnesota will kind of get us back on track uh, with our focus on defense. Um, you know, the conventional thinking about jump shooting in the playoffs. You know, I think that's that's convenient. Uh, if you have a good, if you have a team that can make jump shots, you know, you got to play to your strengths. Yeah. Uh, the way I look at it is, you know, the best defensive teams take away the paint. The best defensive teams take away the rim and take away easy baskets. So the fact that, uh, you know, if you're able to shoot, and I was part of a championship team, that that was our strength in Dallas. Um, you know, it's conventional, it's conventional wisdom that jump shooting uh, teams don't do well, but not all teams are good jump shooting teams. So uh, I think it's important that you play to your strengths, and, and shooting perimeter shots, like I said, um, is a strength. And, you know, Indiana and, and uh and uh, San Antonio take away the rim. They take away all that stuff. So you have to be able to make jump shots. Miami takes away the perimeter, though. Well, let's worry about Miami. <laughs> <get to> the <laughs> You'll take that if you if it means getting to the uh, to the finals. Uh, where's your championship ring from uh, when you were with Dallas? It's at my house in a case. Do you ever bring it out to show the guys in Portland? 
No, uh, I had a replicate made a, a paperweight, uh, which is about weighs about two pounds, and it's about uh, three times the size. So the replica uh, paperweight sits on my desk, and that's a reminder. Did you play for George Coral? Yes, I did. I played for George for three seasons in Great Falls, Montana, for the Montana Golden Nuggets in 1980 to 83. What did you learn? What's one thing you took away that helped you as a coach? Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's just one thing, George. Uh, you know, George is a terrific offensive coach. You know, in Seattle, we had great defensive teams, but he's a he's a fantastic offensive coach. And probably the biggest thing, from my mind, is you let your players play offense. You give them freedom to play offense to make make offensive play. You give them. Uh, you know, you try and give them confidence and um, let them do what they do well. You went to high school in Indiana, didn't you? Yes, I did. Bloomington North. Did Bob Knight recruit you? Not really. That was uh, my senior year in high school was the year they went undefeated and won a national championship. So they recruited uh, six All-Americans, and quite frankly, I wasn't good enough. (laughs) (laughs) Did you ever uh, meet Coach Knight? Yes, I did. I I went to his basketball camp. Uh, I met with him a few times. Uh, You know, as a 17-year-old, I was very intimidated. Did he uh, yell at you? No, no, he didn't need to. (laughs) You were scared already? Yeah, just uh, standing in front of him and and having his eyes stare me down was enough. Uh, When we come to Portland in maybe April, I'm going to assume courtside seats. Sure. Is Is there a celebrity row there in Portland? Well, we have our local celebrities, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, You know, we have Portlandia here. And, uh, you know, those are celebrities, but it's not the celebrity role that, uh, you know, of New York and uh, L.A. So we'll fit in. We'll fit in well there. Well, you'd be a hit here. Uh, Can we stay on Mr. Allen's yacht when we come? Well, I don't know where it's stationed and you'd have to go through uh, go through his people (laughs) for that one. Where it's stationed. I like that. His ship. Well, congrats so far on the the great start, and uh, we're going to try to get out there in April. Uh, so hopefully we'll get out to see a game in person. Well, I look forward to seeing you. All right, Terry. Well, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, Terry Stuntz, the uh, Blazers head coach. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.